How's it going everybody? This is Splattercat with a brand new Let's Play series. I decided I wanted to do something scary. I was kind of torn between Project... I was torn between Project Zomboid, Dead Space, Dead Island, and a number of other games. I have so many games just sitting around in my queue that I've been wanting to play for a long time. And this Let's Play series has been a great opportunity to play some of them. So, I chose Dead Space because it seems like it's pretty goddamn creepy. I'm gonna go ahead and do a new game. And I'm gonna pick, I guess... Huh. I should probably play on hard mode just to regain the man points I'm about to lose as I squeal like a little girl when things jump out at me. But I'll go with medium. I'm gonna be really honest with you guys. If, uh, if I come out of this with my dignity intact, I'll be really surprised. I am not gonna be looking manly coming out the back end of this movie. I... <laughs> I don't deal well with horror, so we'll see how this goes. Looks like we got a crew list here. Okay. Okay. Isaac, it's me. I wish I could talk to you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about everything. I wish I could just talk to someone. It's all falling apart here. I can't believe what's happening. Strange. Such a little thing. How many times you watched that thing? Guess you really miss her. Don't worry, we're almost there. You'll be able to look her up once we're on board. Sounds like you do have a lot of catching up to do. All right, everyone, we're here. It's sinking our orbit now. All this trouble over that chunk of rock. Deep space mining is a lucrative business, Miss Daniels. EG7 is a gold mine, according to prospectors' reports. Cobalt, silicon, osmium. Now, where is she? There she is. We have visual contact. So that's Ishimura. Impressive. The USG Ishimura. Biggest planet cracker in her class. And it looks like they already popped the cork. Why is it all dark? I don't see any running lights. Corporal, take us in closer and hail them. And stay clear of that debris field. We're here to fix their ship, not the other way around. USG Ishimura, this is the emergency maintenance team of the USG Kelgan responding to your distress call. Come in, Ishimura. You're gonna need to boost the signal if their power's low. Yes, we know. Boost the signal. More. Never heard of a total communications blackout on one of these things. You'd think with a thousand people on board, someone would pick up the phone. What is that? It's a busted array like we thought. Sounds like they're having problems with their encoder. You get us down there and Isaac and I can fix it. 48 hours max. All right, you heard the lady. Take us in, let's see what needs fixing. Gravity tethers engaged. Automatic docking procedures a go. Hmm. What the hell? Sir, the auto dock. What is it? We're off track. We're gonna hit the hole. Hit the Improvised blast. landing. That guy just tethers damage. Switch to manual. Now. Inside the magnetic field? Are you insane? Abort! No! We can make it inside. Corporal, gave you an order. Feel too strong. We're all of three minutes into this mission, and it's already not going well. What? What the hell were you thinking? Were you trying to get us killed? I just saved our asses, Miss Daniels. If we had aborted at that speed and distance, we'd have smashed right into the side of the Ishimura. Now settle down, let's get to work. Corporal, report. I'm not getting any readings from the port booster, and we've lost comms and autopilot. It'll take some time to fix. All right, let's get some extra hands from flight deck to help out. 
Hold still, Isaac. I'm syncing up everyone's rig with the ship. Okay, we're done. Clean bill of health for everyone. All right. We've still got a job to do. We're moving out. <laughs> that dude had a gorilla head. <laughs> oh, man. How come I'm the only person in the crew with a creepy-ass helmet? I feel like my peripheral vision might be slightly damaged by this ridiculously terrifying helmet. Okay. Alright. I wouldn't want to work next to somebody in broad daylight with that helmet on. You didn't lose power to the port booster. You lost the port booster. Unbelievable. Definitely gonna need to uh, contact a ship repair specialist. Ship Le Schwab. Oh, I'm gonna make that go away. I'm sorry, guys. Isaac, get over here and hack the door pad. How do I do that? Oh. Okay. All right. Isaac Clark and his door opening skills. You need a door open? We got it covered. Why is that blinking? But there's treasure in it. Everything that blinks has treasure in it, right? Seems like everyone was trying to pack in a hurry. There should be a security detail in here. Oh, there's yeah. stuff. Well, there's not. There's nobody here. I can't pick up any broadcasts. But that security console is still live. Isaac, log in and see what you can find. Kendra, get that elevator back online. Power's dead. I can't. Then we root the damn power. Look, if we all cooperate, we can figure this out a lot sooner. Let's get that computer display up, Isaac. Everybody seems kind of grumpy on this trip. Locator system. Cool. Alright. How come there's blood on the floor in front of the door that I'm about to go through? Our perceptive skills. Oh no. And more blood. Fantastic. Shouldn't Magnum P.I. over there with the uh, mustache be in here with a machine gun or something? Because I'm kind of unarmed. I mean, I have a killer helmet. But, uh, how come it's always... It's like the unarmed guy that's always sent into these situations. Guess I'll check this thing out. Huh. That doesn't look good. She's taking a lot of damage. The tram system's offline. Getting around is going to be difficult. The air seems to be flowing again. That's a start. Breathing's good. And that is bad. What the hell was that? Automatic quarantine must have tripped when the filtration system restarted. Everybody relax. What was that? Did you hear that? Not sure. What the hell? Oh. I don't know. Something's in the room with us. It's behind you, mustache man. Oh god. Christ. Oh, there's two of them. Run, Isaac. Get the hell out of there. Yeah, thanks for that advice. Open, 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 open. Yeah. Oh, I do not like this at all. This is not my forte. Oh jeez. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> nice job, elevator door. Isaac Clark and his elevator door, his secret weapon. Me and this elevator door, we're gonna go places. Mostly down a floor, but, you know. Oh, arm, it's making squishy noises. 
And there's a dead guy. Great. Cut off their limbs. Lovely. If this dead guy moves, I'm gonna need a diaper put into my rig. Oh, nice, we got a gun. Killer. And I'm gonna have to rebind that because my middle key on my mouse is kind of messed up. And okay. Okay. And foot stomp. All right. And I'm sorry, buddy. No chances. Foot stomp. All right. I foot stomped his arm off. Brutal. Isaac doesn't know his own strength. What are these? Okay, got a med pack here. And money. Money's always good. Thousand credits. I'm just gonna call them dollars from now on. It's easier. And these things are blinking. I wonder, let me see here. Nope. All right. I am so happy when things like that work. I vaguely remember like blinking things being breakable or something. And now we kind of have a conflict of interest here because he clearly wants through that door, which means there's something in there that I don't want to be friends with. Uh, okay, it's not that simple. Authorized personnel only. Uh, maybe this thing. Let's see here. Alright. That appears to have worked. Let's do it. Oh no! And... Is it dead? Foot stomp. Just to make sure. And one more. All right. If there's one thing you can say about me, I am a cautious man. I, when it comes to weird muffin face spider monsters, I don't mess around. Ooh, and his head's off. Let's see if we can get a look at this. Pearly whites there. Well, he won't be winning any beauty contests. And these blind doors, I swear. Okay. We have bloody footprints. <laughs> well, not much I can do for him. Let's move on. He should have paid attention better. Alright. I'm playing around with keys right now to see if there's a way to, like, quick turn around, because that would be stellar. Alright, I don't think I'm going to need that for a bit. I didn't get hit by any of the monsters so far, so we're going to save that for later. What is this? An audio log. Okay. This is Benson. Everybody listen up. They're using the vents. That's how they're getting around the ship. Stay away from down. Get back! Get back! Yikes. <laughs> What's funny is he probably recorded that right underneath a vent. He probably looked up and was like, ah, damn it. And I get the strange feeling that, like, every door in this game is going to be a blind door. That thing's got that C logo on it. And so far, things with C logos have had treasure in them. Yep. And more money. Isaac! Isaac! God, I can't believe you made it. Isaac, <laughs> we ran to more of them on the way over here. Are you okay? More what? What the hell are those things? Is that the crew? Keep your voice down. Whatever they are, they're not friendly, and half the doors on this ship are locked because of the quarantine. Now, we have to get to the bridge, but first, we gotta repair the tram system. You're crazy, Hammond. You're gonna get us all killed. If you listen to me, I will get you out of here alive. Now, what's wrong with the tram? The 
data board is fried, but there should be a spare in the maintenance bay. There's also a broken tram blocking the tunnel that needs to be repaired. Damn it! Everything is on the other side of this quarantine. We can't reach it from here. No, we can't. But you can. Isaac, if I can get to the bridge, I should be able to access the personnel files. You fix the tram, and I'll help you find Nicole. All right. Use the map screen to check objectives and important locations. Let's check this map out. Oh, cool. All right. I like this map. For once, a horror game with a useful map. Fantastic. Let's just have a little look-see around here. And I'm guessing... Okay, data board needed. So that's what we're supposed to be doing. Just have a look-see here. See if there's any treasure laying around, because I love treasure. And my guess is... Okay. Yikes. Alright. And there's lockers. And they have that logo, so I'm going to assume. Nice. So we got some more bullets. And another med kit. So those are all things that you can never have too many of. This is where I'm going to cut off this episode. My name is Splattercat. Thank you so much for choosing to join me today. And I get the feeling that this is going to be a pretty exhilarating Let's Play. So, if you enjoyed it, please do like, sub. Leave me a comment if you like the way I play, or if you don't like the way I play, I take constructive criticism and destructive criticism. How many Let's Players will take destructive criticism, huh? Alright, I will see you guys in the next episode.